What's up guys, Gay here, and welcome to uh, another episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. So, uh, first off, we'll get this uh, Stream Raiders done out of the way. Go on, Mr. T. Um, Mr. T. Did I get in the mech? That was so weird. Oh, I have to kill bats. Hmm. Over here. Okay. Now that's done. So obviously, uh, last week was a bit of a, a stumble at the finish line sort of thing. Mainly down to the fact that I got, I had to deal with Plusl, which was not nice. So this morning I tried to sort it out a bit quicker by getting an outbreak sorted out and getting that out of the way. And then uh, this happened. Yeah. This might be the quickest YouTube video out there, depending on what I do with it. So, yeah. Let's catch it and actually get a chance to spin the wheel, eh? Wrong one. Wrong And let's quick ball it as soon as we bloody can. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Another job all done. Yada, yada, yada. Let's move on. Now I don't have to worry about those two flipping rodents ever again. We're not long now, lads. We're not long. I might have saw something out, actually. Hmm. Odd. I know this will only be containing one Pokemon, but I'm still sore now. There we go. There we go. It'll only be containing one Pokemon. Right. Let's actually go to spin the wheel then. Getting there now. Okay, guys. Next hunt will be... Ooh. Alolan Executor. That'll be interesting. Let me uh, make some adjustments and then we'll get going. <clears throat> I think the major question is that how the heck am I going to put this guy on the flipping overlay? Simple hunt as well. All I gotta do is just shove it into a dragon sandwich <clears throat> speaking of dragon
Tu mets là-bas. Là. I say we put it like that. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just find that funny. He's a big leg boy. Alright. Uh, oh, before that. At the moment it says it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's move. I can't remember how crazy everyone reacted when we saw Alolan Executor for the first time. In all fairness, I was kind of hoping for something like Chin Chow so I could keep the sandwich on. Here we are. <clears throat> Here, Executor is king. Weird, because there's not many. Let's get a dragon sandwich going then. Now, <clears throat> the reason why this is counting apart from regular executor is because, um, if I remember right, exec exec executor was in the first DLC. Let me check. Let's make sandwich. So it is in this DLC. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now I remember why I'm counting it. <clears throat> it's because you can't evolve a regular exec execute into a, a Lolan Executor. Don't know why it took me that long to remember that. Oof. Running a little dry. If push comes to shove, I might actually have to do a quick max raid to try and get some of it back.
Alright. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's get started then. Look at all the palm trees, lad. They're everywhere. Is this a guitar a physical or a special attacker? <clears throat> I'm not sure what to expect, to be honest. <clears throat> I guess it's just driving and just make sure more spawns. Yeah, this is working. <clears throat> it's just a case of keeping an eye out and keep driving. <clears throat> Apologies for that sound. Good. Nope. No other Pokemon should have increased spawns. So any anything that shows up is just regular spawn if I didn't have the sandwich up. There was a good amount of executors there. Oh, that's a really small one compared to those ones. I definitely made the right call of making a dragon sandwich. Come on, where's the yellow tree? Hmm. <clears throat> 
Where are you? It's always in a circle pattern, so I've always got to make sure that all of them are visible before I check. I leave, just in case like the one on the side is the one I'm looking for. Obviously, being that the one being the shiny. Of trees would be more interesting if they could walk. this technically being the biggest Pokemon I've hunted for, I think it wouldn't be hard to spot. Not that it matters. If you call them, I swear my eyes like to play trick. Absolutely English. I swear my eyes like to play tricks on me. There you go. Why was that so hard for me to say? bumped into that one, didn't I?
The stream rate just feels like it's been taking its time. I know it hasn't, but jeez. Is this how so slow this half an hour has felt? I guess it can feel like that, depending on the situation at hand. Honestly, it, it's kind of exciting to see the, the tail end of the challenge. Like, we've only got six Pokemon to go now. The only thing I'm scared about is the fact that what we have left. Oshawa... <laughs> seal. It's, it's Seal, come on. The most least... A noticeable shiny out there. God dang it. It's all these trees in the way. But unlike the lumberjack, I'm not gonna cut them down. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. 17 minutes, Jim. Okay, I don't need to move that fast, otherwise I might do what happened with Tentacruel. Come on, give me some more trees.
Apologies for the quiet, I'm just keeping an eye out. I know I keep apologizing for that as well, it's just... I know people in the VOD, at least, when they watch this, they obviously want something to happen, and... Well, God. <laughs> I know he did that again, didn't I? Oh, some executor spawned around here along with a slowpoke. That looks so cool like that. It's just like it's like almost ten executors like that. Thirteen minutes, come on. I think, if anything, I do want to ask the community, you guys, in general, what you guys would like me to do after the challenge is done. Because I have come up with a few things I could do. That is Pokemon related. So I'll probably come up with a poll on Discord and YouTube. Just see what you guys would like. Wow, there we go. Haha, <laughs> let's go, guys. Shiny alone and executor. Let's have a look at the boy. I mean, her. I, I'm sorry. I, I meant her. It ain't gonna work as well as you think, mate. Okay. I'm glad I saved. Let me guess, you're gonna dwell in luxury, don't you? No, okay. You got, you're a picky shopper, are you?
There's no point in leech lifing, it's just gonna sap its health back together. It's night. No. I guess just spam repeat bulls, I guess. Come on, work with me. Eh? Jesus, nearly sapped frenzy dry. Do one full swipe. Ah, Bradley, good timing. Just trying to actually, you know, catch it. But it won't want to stand the ball. And it's nearly killed Frenzy. Yeah, we've, we've caught two so far. But how am I actually have to use a turn to heal up Frenzy? Never mind. Honey Crisp, if you would. Nothing really Honey Crisp can do is. We shall find out soon enough on the wheel, I guess. As soon as this thing stays in the ball, Jesus. Also, what did you think about me putting the um, the get the uh, animation on the overlay? I thought it was funny making it go over the the screen. There we go, finally. I've it only works on the first turn, doesn't it? Good work, Honey Crisp. Yeah, just um, a double check things. Uh, just put it frankly, the main reason why I'm counting this as a separate edition than regular execute and executor is you can't evolve and execute into an Alolan executor. So I thought it makes sense to have another one. Another job well done. All right, let's heal up frenzy and then we'll spin the wheel again. Oh yeah, uh, we gotta do stream readers, don't we? Not long, not long, six. Actually, it might be five. We have Comfey, Skarmory, Seal, Oshawott, Poplio, and Sobble. Most of the water stars. We don't want Seal though, because have you ever tried to hunt for Seal? <laughs> Alright. Our next hunt for tonight will be... I should shut up. I should really shut up. Seal it is. Uh, 
You'll see why this is bad in a minute if you don't know already. I'm gonna need it. Right, give me a minute to try and get um, Seal's um, animation up. Of course it isn't there. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be awful. It's going to be plus all over again. And I'm going to have to do an outbreak date skip again. Hey Bradley, you anything to do you able to do anything on your switch at the moment like when it comes to like any uh, terror raids? Cuz I might have a favor to ask. What I'm saying is, um, do you have any outbreaks that you know would give good Herba Mystica? Because I'm running low. I don't know if I'll be able to withstand us a third hunt tonight. I'm talking about like if we may if we manage to find it and then we hunt for something else I have only got enough for one more sandwich that's what I, I know what I'm gonna do now I gotta make a I think an ice sandwich because then that will stop Piplup and Oshawa from spawning but when it comes to if we manage to find it tonight and we want to look for something else I don't think I have enough Herba Mystica to do it so I'm gonna need a to do a, a terror raid at some point tonight Ah uh, yes, the land of lag. And we return here again. And according to the list, we, m we might be going here one more time. Oh, look how much of it, how much, look how much little of a difference that is. Hold on. I saw something there. And what I'm hoping is it wasn't a shiny Smurgle. I know that would be a duplicate, but it's still a shiny we miss. Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought.
Okay, false alarm. I thought that was a shiny smurgle, but it wasn't. There we go. Right. First off, we save. No, it wasn't. I double checked, that's why I did it. Alright, oh, it's cloth sticks that ice types like. You see what I mean? I don't have enough herb mystica here to have a third sandwich. So I'm gonna have to do a tear raid at some point tonight. So I might need some help with that. Claw sticks seem like the, one of the easiest things to put on sandwiches, because th th you're basically playing with Jenga bricks there. Well, I don't need any more ice types outside of seal. And this is a nice type sandwich. If I was doing water, I'd be asking for trouble. The only major Pokemon we'll be seeing outside of... Outside of seal, I think the only major thing we'll be seeing is Lapras. And don't worry, we've already got Lapras, but don't get me wrong, it's an amazing, it's fun seeing a Lapras. Stream raises up, everyone wants to do that. Fingers crossed indeed. Obviously the all oh, right, Beartex and Cub Chews. Okay, so when it comes to actually we'll, we'll see how it goes without. Oh I just realized something. I'll explain after I run from this. Yeah, I just remembered. Seal doesn't get the ice typing until it evolves into a dugong. So we're only going to be seeing dugongs. Arguably, that's kind of a plus side because I think dugong got more of a noticeable change. Still gonna beat him up like this so I can tell. So if we were gonna look for an outbreak, now we're gonna have to primarily look for dugongs, not seals. Yeah, this might be wrecked before we even started. It 
doesn't help that Frenzy's weak to flipping ice. I honestly am hating this. Alright, alright. We're gonna have to rethink this. See, it's a lot better now, now that we're out of that area. No Lapras, no! I didn't want to kill a Lapras. This is actually just a really bad situation. I was dreading hunting for this one. Let me do something quick. The reason why there's no seal spawning is because seals are pure water types. They don't get the ice type until they evolve into dugongs. Okay, I think this is mostly going to take the chokehold of this uh, stream. Ugh. We're all going to die. I'm gonna try a new course of action. Hopefully this might not involve the fact that we might need to do a outbreak because there's a specific spot that's recommended. Yeah, water type sandwich in a specific location where seals and dugong can spawn. 
and the only downside would be if a Osher was spawned, but that wouldn't be a downside because that would be a plus. Uh, we're all gonna die. So from what I saw, the best place to look is round about. Here. We have a war type sandwich. We could have gotten something really exciting like a skarmory or something. But no, it had to be something horrible. What makes this even bloody worse is I accidentally found one in the first stream we did of this DLC. I might as well make a flipping top 10 least favorite Pokemon, just so I've got an excuse to bitch about this stupid seal. That's the only plus side to this idea. Right, free cucumbers. Yeah, at some point, if I am going to do a third hunt, I'm gonna have to do a tail raid. But with the way this is going, might not be the case. I think I forgot to save, didn't I? I saved it at a different location, so it's fine, but... Ugh. Sorry for the vibration on my phone. There. The major thing we'd be looking for would be an Oshawa. Everything else we've already hunted for, or is not on the list. Fingers crossed we see a uh, Oshawa with a pink nose. Try this again then. Yeah, straight away they're not. I think a plus side to where how we're seeing these is uh, if you see one next to the other, you can tell if it's different. Yeah, we've already found Peplop, so we're not looking for Peplop. It's just Oshawa and Seal at the moment. Yeah, I, I've said a few times now, yeah, I could. It just depends on my luck. And just to be clear, if something like this happens again, I do not know if I would ever make this a challenge again. I'd just shiny hunt where I'd want to shiny hunt and leave it at that. Especially depending on the method of the Gen 10 games or how Legend ZA will do shinies. I'm sure you could understand my reasoning of that. Nope. 
moves. I think something that could help as well is I'm looking at the pitch, the animation on the overlay, and it looks like it's like a uh, snout goes more pinkish, and that's something I can work on since its snout is usually yellow. Above all else, this is the best thing I can do, because I can't risk an outbreak, because it could put me in a really awkward spot that will make the game lag. At least here, there's a constant, constant supply of seals, and the bonus chance of potentially getting Oshawa at the same time. What do you think? Like focusing on the snout where it's pink? there. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. It's making it a bit easier for me to identify now that I need to focus on its snout. This is the second stream in a row, Bradley, that's been ruined by a really bad shiny hunt. Typical, when I don't want to find it, I find it by accident. But now I want to find it, it's not going to show up. I like you, Lapras. Lapras is a definitive uh, water ice type. What does that word mean again? Definitive?
you think shiny hunters go insane? We are basically just determining the answer to insanity. You know, just doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That is honestly how I feel about this. No. That's yellow. Yellow. Yeesh, I'm starting to notice the flipping characteristics and flipping character color changes in all these. And in terms of what happened yesterday with the fact that it randomly gave a follow notification even though you didn't and that you already did and you were still making that sound, I'm not sure what happened there. I did try to figure it out myself for a bit this morning. Apologies for the silence again, guys. I'm just really trying to focus on these pathetic seals. I hate them. Let's check that Oshawa. Nope. I feel like I'm going insane, Billy. Uh, Bradley, sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. That, that's the my point. I think I'm going insane, Bradley. Probably actually called you Billy thanks to Zenless Zone Zero. I actually feel like my eyes are starting to water.
I hate seal. I honestly really hate seal. Just checking. This is painful. Torturous even. I at least say the rest of the hunts will at least either be enjoyable or the shinies will be at least noticeable after this one. Because Skarmory and Comfe have unique shinies, Oshawott is Oshawott, and Sobble and Poplio have like ways to notice them. Sobble in particular at least. Nope. Bradley, you still there? Let's have a look at you. 
Nope. Uh, yeah, no, you're not. Twelve minutes to go. Pain. All I know is pain. Yeah, from now on I'm going to be up um, all the dugongs I see just in case. Big group of Oshawats, maybe? None of them look different. Streamer is ready to go. Ten minutes. Yeah, no. There's an outbreak of smuggles here. Where did the kingdom come from? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't know King just spawned that. Oh, wait, it's not. Stuff of nightmares. This is so strainful in my eyes. Hang on, hang on, I need to double check that one. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so it's more of a yellowish white on its main fur, and its snout goes pink. Shun Yashua.
Nope. Trying. I'm really trying. They all despawned because I got too close to the battlefield. That's given me an idea. I think it could work. Oh, that was cute. Yes! I could use this to quickly reset things. When did that end? I had 10 minutes left on it. Uh, all right then. Seal. I really, really hate it. I guess I did save in the right location. <coughs> All right, last sandwich of the night. Fingers crossed, Bradley.
That's not good. Nope. Let's check with you. No shiny Oshua there. This is getting ridiculous now. Hi Asha, you're right. Hope you're doing good today. I am slowly and surely losing my mind. I'm trying to find a stupid seal. Been doing it for nearly an hour now. Um, there was something I wanted to quickly gloss over with you, by the way, Asha. Um, have you deviled into ROM hacks? Like emulations, that sort of stuff.
Well, I wasn't even looking at that. I don't need to look at it. Well, as a thing, um, would you know how to do a randomizer? Like, an emulation of like an old DS game, say Black and White 2, but then randomize it. Would you know how to do that? Oh, right, I, I misread what you said. Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Yeah, it's just, um... While we're waiting for ZA to come out, I'm considering maybe doing a randomizer. Not as a Nuzlocke. Hopefully, I don't have mental capacity for shiny hunting, let alone ROM hacks. <laughs> I'm not uh, Nuzlocke's. But generally, I just thought maybe I could... Try a randomizer. When it comes to things I could do during the wait for ZA to come out next year. Obviously, we could still do egg hunts. Like, I need to get Quaxley from. I believe there's a tool to random. It's fine on DS. Yeah. Um, that is one thing I've been trying to get working emulations on 3DS games like X and Y, but. I don't know how people do it. Like every time I've tried, it's just a bunch of stuff that I worry is going to ruin my PC. Or it's just a bunch of stuff that's asking the impossible for my techno knowledge. I think it's I think the software was called Citrus, but I don't know, it looks so difficult to understand. Yeah, at some point I will have to try and think a bit more creative about what I can do with Pokemon content while I'm waiting for ZA to come out. Maybe, but I don't. When I, if anything, it would be to do it as simple as possible. Even if that means waiting for a more straightforward software to come out, and legal as way as well. If there's any way to make it legal, then yeah. Unless ROM hacking in general is illegal. I understand this like this whole system where, like if the original game is not as easily accessible it's excused but if it is like say if you wanted to emulate Scarlet and Violet you'd be in trouble as legal as possible if anything things like they say to do it so like you connect your 3DS up to your PC, but I can't do that. Either that or I haven't figured out yet. Whoa, oh my... We've been raided. We've been boarded. We have been boarded. Congrat... Uh, well, uh... Hello, uh... Technoferg. I hope you had an amazing stream. I hope you're doing good. And, uh, welcome to their viewers. I hope you're doing good. We are looking for a shiny seal. Pray for me. I am dying on the inside. How is everyone doing today? And that was honestly a very big surprise. <laughs> wow. No one does legal immigration. just followed. H how howdy, Technoferg. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. 
Please tell me that gives me shiny luck to get this seal. No one does legal emulation. That's a lie. Game president's push. Uh, how did your stream go? Was everything alright? Um, well, any of them look different. <laughs> Maybe that one in the far distance. That sh Oshawa isn't shiny. You have to give me a minute, guys. I'm just um, still trying to find the seal. No one does legal emulation. I thought it was like when it comes to stuff like GBA games and all that, it's fine. Either way, I've got to figure it out. i got to do something while I'm waiting for ZA to launch. as far as I could tell. But honestly, yeah, Tenno for a go. Thank massive thanks for the raid. Like, I really appreciate that. Really decent way to spice up the stream. And hopefully it's a little bit of shiny luck. Eighteen minutes left to go. Why am I even looking at Pebbles? I've already done it for the challenge. Alright, I do need to explain some things for the new people here. So, um, what I'm currently going, do, going through now, guys, is what I'm called the Shiny Academy Challenge. To put it basically, what I've been doing is hunting... Ah. What I've been doing recently is hunting every single, um new Pokemon that was added into the Scarlet and Violet game as of the Indigo Disc. And just to show my progress, um, just get my boxes up. Here we are. Um, we are at uh, 30, 50, probably. These 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 two boxes are what we've got so far. We're nearly done. We've got like f five Pokemon left. So as long as we get sealed this week, as in now, we should be good to finish very soon. And that is very hype at the moment. And as you say, I just got off hunting Plusle, and I ugh. trust me. Do it for the decks, but don't do it yourself. It ain't worth it in the long run. It ain't worth it. <coughs> so, uh, just a question to spark up the chat. What is um, your favorite thing that Scarlet and Violet added to the game? That being Pokemon, moves, abilities. Mechanics, shinies, characters, it could be anything. Of course there are lots of things that this game didn't do for the franchise, being the lag, the frame rate. Basically for 3DS you need games in 3DS format, which you find on the ROMs Reddit, and I use Lion 3DS on my Steam deck. 
Huh. Is that something to look out for? Lime 3DS. I think if anything, I haven't touched most of it because I'm just careful with it. Like I've touched um, the DS emulator and the Game Boy Advanced emulator. No. Oh, oh god damn it! That's a shiny Piplup. It's the first actual duplicate in ages. There we go, guys. Proof that I've actually can find shinies. Here we are. It's not the shiny we're looking for, and it's actually a duplicate. Oh. God damn it. And it's kind of wasting a bit of time. It's great, but Line 3 seems to be a. Uh, Linux thing. What's a Linux? What's Linux? So yeah, uh, if we don't find Seal, we lose this Piplup. And how about this for a bit of spice? If we get Seal, I'll trade this Piplup to one of you guys. How's that sound? Linux. Yeah, I still don't know what that means. It's not you, it's just... I, I, I've never heard of that word before. No more Piplups, please. I think there's a bird outside my window. See, um, work with me, chat. Um, that animation of seal I have on my overlay, would you say that it's now is pink? Because I think that's been the main way I've been trying to identify if I've found one. But obviously, since I haven't found one, I don't know if this is the right thing. Um, nope. Nada. Not you two. Let's check that Osha watch. See if it's got a pink nose. No, it doesn't. Nope. 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 Nada. Uh, no, not you. So, uh, Techno Ferg, what game did you play on your stream? Or did you not play a game? <laughs> I sometimes forget I'm deep in the weeds with hacking, so if you I use proper terms as like I'm speaking in tongues. So. No, don't need no need to apologize. It happens a lot to me. Mainly when I'm talking lingo when it's related to Pokemon or Transformers. Yeah, I'm not joking. Like there are some things in Transformers logic that are confusing. Like, would you know what I said? Would you know what I mean if I said these words? The Tripredicus Council. <laughs> Obviously, you'd know what the word council is, but not Tripredicus. Nope. 11 minutes left. 11 minutes left. Smack it silly. Hmm. Oh, this is. I, I, I'm starting to really, really hate this Pokemon. Is this why people really hate this Pokemon? Because they hate the Shiny Hunter? I had no good opinions about it before, now I really don't like it. No. 
know. Nope. Uh, not those two. Let's check the steel gun. Sorry, no. Ah, whoops. <coughs> oh. Apologies for that cough. Get rid of them. A question I have though is um when the switch gets into the position like the 3DS is in now, where like people are starting to make emulation software for it, is it gonna be hard to do so? I'm not saying I want to get into that, I'm just wondering. Cause Obviously, DS and um, Game Boy emulators have been around for ages. It just seems like they've been struggling to make a, a 3DS emulator that works. Hmm. Crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a cushioned room with a bunch of rats, and the rats made, and the rats made me crazy. I honestly feel like I'm losing my mind looking for this thing. Let's check those Oshawats. No. to me. Um, no, don't do that again. I am shaking, but we keep on trucking.
Nope, nope, nope. Um, I'm doing the best I can, boys. Okay, this does look shiny, this dugong. It's not. Oh. I've just got to make sure I always knock out dugongs just to double check. Does look very promising. Uh, no, not anymore. It's gotta, it's gotta happen eventually, guys. It's gonna happen eventually. It's just you can't ignore the fact that I'm getting kind of annoyed at this. Four minutes to go. The sunset isn't helping, because it's giving off that tint that we're looking for. Yeah, none of them are shiny. Uh, um, no. No. I don't want you anymore. Toy Story 2 reference. Is it at least going to be a last minute finisher? I could really appreciate it if it does that. No. 
The more this goes on, the less confidence I have. 30 seconds. Uh, at least give me an Oshawa. At least I'll feel more confident about myself getting an Oshawa. It's my favorite Unova starter. It's gonna be like plus all over again where I find it off camera. But I do what I can. I do what I can. With what I have been given. Which is a massive pain in my side. No. And... I think that's it. Yeah, we're done. <sighs> Once again, another re <clears throat> not obscure, different, shiny ruins a stream. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Oh well. All right. Um, while we'll sail down, we'll do a few things. First off, I'll put up a link to our channel's Discord if you want to keep up to date with future uploads. And we'll get Stream Raiders finished up, and then that'll be it. Oh, yeah. We didn't find the uh, seal. And we're finishing up now. Uh, question chat, you guys want to do a raid? But again, um, don't go mainstream with the whole hacking thing. Is that a weapon screen? <laughs> if anything, just enjoy being there as well as being there for the ROM hack stuff. Because that's what we're trying to really accomplish out of it. Just obviously people there to do stuff, but obviously people want to have a good time while they're there. If that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, let's get a raid going. Does anyone have any suggestions? Let's see. Um, we've got Ace Trainer Liam. Uh... Scarecrow sketch. Ah, Scarecrow's fun. How you doing? Uh, hey. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure. I say I say we go Scarecrow sketch. No, actually, a similar and or smaller size. That's a good idea. Well, I'll stay know. if you want to raid someone. That's the main idea. We're just going to try and raid to finish off and then we'll finish the stream off. Excellent. Oof. Uh, that name I'm not going to say. I'm not saying he's uh, a bad what person. Name? Chicken something VA. Oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe they got a weird name. Rotom 6969. Uh. Ah, here we are. I think this guy will be good. Simon in the water. A low t Apparently he's shiny hunting for Lotad. Let's give him a boost. Sounds good. I was just going to say, um, Linux is a um, operating system. It's mm. like one of the bigger alternatives to Windows. Ah. That's what it is. I just wanted to explain that so I didn't have to type it. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, uh, for the rest of the um, people here, thank you all for watching and thank you, thank you for joining the raid that um, uh, Techno Greg, I think that's right, um, um, sent to me. I really appreciate that and I hope I've got a few returning viewers now and yeah, massive shout out to Techno Ferg for that and uh, I hope you all have had a good day. Um, obviously next week we'll continue to look for Seal and any future wheel spins. But yeah, we got Plusle and an Alone Executor today. That's a win for me. And uh, I'll see you guys later. See ya.